Heavy fighter jet activity over Alaska. One of our viewers reports on what isn't being reported. Government mandated food rationing at schools is more insidious than it seems. And we have report on that. Instacart and other food delivery companies intentionally deactivating Americans' accounts so they can't work on the platforms and substituting them with, well, let's just say others. Car mechanics never have seen part shortages like we are today. That and a bunch of other reports from you guys coming in from all over. Let's jump into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates and reports coming in from all over the place. Um, please do keep them coming in. Uh, do just reply to uh, the video, uh, any one of the videos on this channel, and make sure you use the word update somewhere in your comment that gets it to the right place. Before we dive in, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. If you have a retirement account like a 401k or an IRA, and you're wondering what you can do about making it safer uh, from market crashes, stock and bond crashes, Jonathan and his team at Genesis Gold Group can help answer your questions about what it would look like to move a portion of your funds over into gold, silver, or platinum coins, or the whole amount. Uh, but uh, they don't pressure you, and they help to educate you and answer your questions so you understand what the situation would be like. There'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to get some more information about that. Homeschool Heidi says, uh, Northwest Alabama spoke with our mechanic yesterday and asked him uh, if what I was hearing about car part shortages was true. He's been a mechanic for 40 years, and his dad owned the shop before him. He said he's never seen it so bad with the parts. Parts that should be standard and easy to find are gone. He mentioned a common oil filter that he can't get anymore. And salvage parts are just as difficult to find, if not worse, especially since government regulations have required scrap vehicles um, from a, before a certain year to be crushed. So even old vehicles that go to scrapyards have to be crushed and used as scrap metal only, no parts. Alicia says, uh, I'm one of the Instacart drivers and shoppers that was uh, recently deactivated for no reason. I got an email saying that my selfie picture did not match my photo ID. You know who doesn't have a photo ID for them to pick, compare pictures to? We'll get back to that. They wouldn't even allow me to prove my identity. It wasn't like, uh, it's not working, so uh, send in an alternate, wait, no, they're like, it just, it's not working for you, so you're, you're gone. Suddenly, uh, I go to the Walmart and all I see is men who don't even speak English lined up in front of the store doing Instacart. I tried calling Instacart many times, so trying to figure this out, trying to work with them, and they tell me, oh, I'm sorry, we will update your paperwork, look out for an email, and then they never, then I never receive anything. I'm in San Diego, and I lost my job to the others. And we're hearing reports uh, from more and more of you guys saying the same thing, especially Instacart, but we're also hearing Walmart is doing something similar. Uh, they're firing all of the, uh, the, the workers that, uh, that do the, the deliveries and such like that and replacing them with uh, people that are from other places. Uh, Medic, mate, uh, Medic Might says, uh, The other day my teenage son informed me that he bought lunch at school and was only given two teaspoons of rice in his meal. I told him it was probably a mistake and he just, um, he just needs to ask for a normal one cup of rice uh, that he would normally get. He informed me last night that he asked for more and he was told that they could not due to government mandated food rationing. Did anyone hear of government mandated food rationing for, um, you know, let alone for schools? Well, the federal government has just overhauled school lunches, uh, lunch guidelines, and, uh, and the big thing is not only that, but they're actually enforcing, they're enforcing the previous mandates that were passed uh, <clears throat> by Michelle Obama. That's right. Um, before they were kind of like guidelines, but now they're actually uh, threatening to cut schools funding if they have any infractions, if they don't follow the guidelines to a T. And there's some interesting things in there. Uh, one of the, I mean, it seems like a conversation that's not a big deal. 
and yet it is. I, I, I don't have to tell you this, but there's a difference between boys and girls. Like, am I, am I allowed to say that out there? I mean, even the FDA, the FDA is a mandating for kindergarten through fifth grade that the meals have a minimum of 550 calories. And ninth to twelfth grade, minimum of 750 calories, okay? Where did they come up with that number from? Well, uh, when you look at the science and such like that, they, they see that high school girls need about 2,200 calories. So three meals, divide 2,200 by three, and you get roughly 750 calories. Okay, that makes sense. But see, like I said, getting back to my original point, which is boys and girls are different. Growing men, growing boys in high school need 2,800 calories. Now, of course, the more active they are, the more calories they need. They could need over, uh, well over 3,000 calories if they're playing on sports teams and stuff like that. Is any of that being taken into consideration with the school lunches? Nope. Because everyone is an uh, androgynous drone, right? Everyone is just, they're not, uh, they're not boys and girls anymore. They're just students, right? Everything has to be um, gotten rid of. You know, everything has to be lowered down to girl standards physically and then also food-wise. There's, there's no accepting the fact that we need to have separate things. And uh, that's where I see this as truly nefarious. The fact that all of the food mandates are being enforced to stay within their, their, the zone, but at the same time, there is no room for even just basic differences like gender. How can you enforce upon everybody this standard even though everyone is different? And um, yeah, that's what's happening out there. And some schools are feeling the pressure because they'll lose funding if they get out of line. And so if they put too little food on kids' plates, they, they won't have a problem. But if they go over any of these limits, especially on sugar and salt, they're getting uh, the book thrown at them. Uh, they're not really enforcing the calorie minimums very much, but they're enforcing a lot of these other things very heavily. Kathy says, uh, I just got a letter from the bank that holds my uh, home mortgage. I have an escrow account, right, uh, that pays my taxes and insurance. So you pay into this little fund, then they pay the uh, taxes and insurance out of there. They said, because of the increase in my insurance, my payment is going up $124 a month. Up $124 a month. That's a, that's a pretty big increase, right? I am on fixed income, and I'm very scared. If my payment keeps going up, I will lose my home. Victoria says, I live in a small southeastern Colorado town. Our local feed mill was out of chicken feed. Their truck is broken down. They've been waiting for parts since November. They can't deliver stuff uh, if they can't get their truck running. They're hoping to know if they can get parts for the truck this next week. They don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Can you imagine being in business, trying to, trying to fix your vehicle, but then waiting months and months for a, a critical uh, work truck or work vehicle? We have a lot of people out there that are in that very same boat, uh, whether they're self-employed or a contractor or something like that. I Like Cats says uh, Petco was closed yesterday except for online pickup orders. All stores nationwide. In-store transactions were not able to be done. They said it was their computer system. We're hearing that a lot more nowadays, aren't we? Hacks after hacks after hacks. Com all the computer systems don't seem to be working anymore. They've advanced to the point where the computers apparently are getting lazy and they don't want to work anymore. We need to get uh, a malicious AI to get them off their butts and get those computer systems working again, right? Uh, they're probably planning to overthrow us right now. That's probably what's going on with the computers. MA says, uh, Central Kentucky, counties are updating their tornado sirens, which are now called warning sirens. Old ones are being updated and more added throughout the counties. There was a statewide test a couple weeks ago. The new sirens now sound like the bomb raid sirens uh, from World War II. And for good reason. Uh, friends, the government is getting ready for World War III. You probably should be getting ready as well. 
Mike says, uh, rather than try rewinding uh, to the check to check names and such, this concerns a healthcare hack. Uh, the com communication foul up. Uh, I took my mom to Low Moore Hospital uh, every three weeks. I've been taking her uh, for an injection to boost her hemoglobin. Um, it needs to stay on schedule to be fully effective. Uh, when the shot costs six thousand dollars, you need to stay on schedule. Then I took her on Tuesday. Uh, they were honoring patients who arrived uh, with appointments made from a month ago. However, after receiving her shot, we were told we could not get an appointment for the next one because of the computer hack. It's messing everything up, friends. Uh, Fernando says, uh, my wife and I went to our local HEB in San Antonio, Texas, and we, were, uh, we went to the bread aisle and the hot dog bun section was empty. There were zero buns. We asked about it if they had it in the back. They said they didn't. Uh, no hot dog buns came in in the shipment, and that's why the whole section was empty. Alaska man says, major F-22 movement here in Alaska. It's been going on for about two and a half weeks now. I'm outside uh, Anchorage. I also heard a rocket a few nights ago, and the whole house of seven heard it as well and woke them up. These jets are never on the radar or the radar tracking systems, right? Um, I'm, tr I'm checking flight radar 24-7, and I'm not getting anything uh, while watching them fly over me. This goes on day, uh, all day long at times. So um, apparently a lot of activity up in Alaska with fighter jets. Uh, I don't know if they're intercepting uh, incoming aircraft, uh, incoming Russian aircraft. Uh, that wouldn't be surprising if Russia is uh, moving into the air identification zone with bombers uh, and doing that repeatedly to uh, force the United States to scramble fighter jets. Um, that is Cold War behavior, but yet uh, that might very well be what's going on right now. Uh, Jenny uh, says, uh, went, to lab, uh, went for lab work today. Hospital had me sign a form saying I will pay $175 if my insurance doesn't cover my A1C. Lady at the front desk told me insurance companies are flat out refusing to pay for these tests. So then how will diabetics know if their sugar is controlled or not? This is, a, this is at the same time that they're denying CGM because you are not diabetic enough. A lot of changes out there happening, right? And uh, we, we need to be kind of keeping our eyes on what's going on with that. So I appreciate you guys sending in your reports and letting us know what's going on out there. Uh, if you have a report, please use the word update in your comment on any video on this channel. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold Group, uh, Jonathan and his team uh, would love to talk to you. Uh, there's a link right here. You can fill out your information there and you'll send it in. Uh, they'll, they'll contact you or send you an information packet. Um, if you have some questions, you can always call them directly. Uh, if you do that, make sure you mention this channel so they waive the setup fee. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.